This is the ion beam on the right of the grinder, and I'm using a, a Zerno grinder. So I've decided to share my thoughts on the ion beam. I initially got it because I thought it might help with sifting coffee. Maybe the ionization of the coffee was too much for a sifter, and maybe it took my sifting a bit longer to do. So I bought it, and I started doing some tests. So. Um, uh, here we have with on the left and without on the right. Um, so there, it seems to lessen the buildup, but there's still a buildup that occurs. And I reached out to Acadia about it, and they suggested to try a few things. So I tried different positions. Um, this is another slow motion where I tried a different position of the ion beam. And I still didn't see a significant change. Um, so I went back and I did more testing. Um, I took a lot of videos. I think I used it about 20 times. With and without, I used it on a few different types of beans. On one of the testing sets, I used a lot of, of a medium roast from Starbucks that I had just for, for fun. This is a, a medium roast, and, and you can see the particles are flying around. There's something going on, but it's not quite what I expected, which I think in my mind I thought it would be uh, no particles would stick on and everything would just come out, but I still have to go through the same routine for my um, grinder. Um, there's a couple cases where if I moisturize the beans after roasting, where I add about 4% of moisture, those go through no problem, but I don't need the ion beam to do that. Um, I think it's because it already has moisture content, so it's similar to just spraying the beans. Um, I also tried some uh, coarser grinds um, because I wanted to see, I don't do, uh, use filter coffee, but I wanted to push it to more extremes. Um, in this case, it was also not clear if I turned on the brighter light, if that meant the beam was off and just the light was on. Um, but I tried it with and without this light being turned on and I didn't see any difference. So if you push the button, you turn on the beam. If you push it again, it turns on this uh, spotlight. And uh, I didn't know what to do from there. And so I, I, when talking to support, they said move it around to a couple positions, which I did. Um, they suggested backing it up, moving it closer, uh, turning it around, and using it backwards. And um, those things didn't work either. I feel like the beam did kick up more particles around that would normally just get stuck on there. So I'm not sure if this is actually helping reduce any mess, um, which is one consideration. And I was expecting to see more clumping you know, further away from the beam than closer, but it's hard for me to verify that the beam was functioning as uh, it was uh, as desired. Um, so I also tried moving the beam around the grinder uh, after the fact, and that didn't seem to bump up any particles. I tried it backwards. Um, I sped this video up because again, I have a lot of these videos and I wasn't sure where I was gonna go with them. Um, I tried it for this is on a on a, a, a medium roast um, from Starbucks. I ended up going through almost a pound of coffee doing with and without the beam and I, not seeing much of a difference. Um, so I tried pointing it more into the cup too and that didn't seem to help my case. It's quite possible that this grinder or this beam where the beam position is not great. And I know that for version two of the Zerno, they're adding an ionizer inside. Um, so maybe that would be better. I'm not sure. Um, I, I wasn't sure if, if this is the right positioning. You know, this is one of the questions I asked on social media. So I moved it around, but I also didn't see a change when I moved it. So I would have expected, you know, if, if it suddenly, uh, affected the the coffee that was down there and how much it was sticking to each other from static electricity that it should drop off. So I tried moving the, making the cup further 
uh, more uh, to one side, so a little eccentric. Um, it It's definitely attracting particles, which is surprised when I turned it around, it didn't do anything. It, it, there's potential it could be my environment. My environment is uh, dry. I'm in, in California. There's not much humidity. And I usually don't need to do RDT. Um, I don't need to add water before I put beans through. Um, I sometimes do, but I, I end up knocking the grinder a few times to get everything out anyways. So I haven't found it to be like a, a major necessity. And my coffee doesn't clump. I haven't had a clumping problem even when I go down to uh, the 100 micron setting. So I usually am at the 200 micron setting for the Zerno. Uh, this is a bit coarser, this particular grind. As you can see, these particles are a lot larger. Um, and again, I'm not seeing the, the desired effect. Um, but I did take a lot of close-up, slow motion videos of a grinder. So that was fun. Okay, so let's do a couple more tests. So this is um, with the ionizer on the left. You can see the light in the um, top right. And then without the ionizer on the right. And initially, the ionizer looks like it's doing something. It's reducing it. But this coffee already had some moisture to it, so it didn't have such a big effect. Um, even if it didn't, I don't know. This one is uh, with uh, the ionizer on the left and without on the right, and it was a, a coarser grind. So while this one does a little bit of slow motion grinding, I'll just tell you what I think. I ended up returning the ionizer. Um, I don't think, for me and my setup, it's worth uh, the $150 cost, and I was willing to roll the dice just to see if it could reduce or make the process cleaner because usually my counter is a mess. Um, that doesn't mean that this is the case for everybody and maybe there's a more optimal setup that I missed. Uh, maybe there was something wrong with my unit. I've had a good relationship with uh, Akea and I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. Um, but they've been great with the scale that I have. I have a Pixa scale and they've, I, I had to have service done on it and I've had great customer service with them. So, um, I wasn't, I was hoping that this was going to work out better for me, but in terms of build, the, the thing is very beautiful and very nice. And I had a nice setup for, to have this more permanently on my grinder. And, um, I'm disappointed that it didn't work out or that I didn't figure out how to make it work better. Um, so that's my experience. I hope this helps with whoever's interested and, you know, come back. I, I, I'm really more interested in the, the science behind stuff than reviews, but I'm glad uh, any of this information could be helpful.